Jackfruit here. So I've gotten the question before, what's a fruit luck and how do you have a fruit luck? And it's the easiest thing ever. You just find a way to get in touch with other people who do this lifestyle and you ask them to bring food and go to a, a place like somebody's house or a park and you eat it together and you chat and you find out that there's other people not just you who eat this way and who want to live this way so what I did is I put the word out uh, originally how did I do it on um, 30 bad on yeah, 30 bad. bananas a day and then this lovely lady here Carly <laughs> <laughs> got in touch with me and I got in touch with Sam and Audrey holding the camera, who you'll see in a second. And here we are having only a four person fruit lock. And it's awesome. Like, we're making this amazing food. None of us have met except for Audrey and I before this night. No, you two have met. No, no, no we were going to meet up. Yeah, but then <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sam, for example. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? What's your favorite color? Where are you from? <laughs> That's a lot of questions. <laughs> my name's Sam. Uh, my favorite color, green. <laughs> And what was the third question? Where are you from? North of Newmarket, uh, a okay. small town called East Glenbury. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, no one knows where East Glenbury is. They drive through it. <laughs> so how long have you been doing this lifestyle? On and off for like over a year, but like solid for a few months now. Nice. And how are you finding it? I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's nice to connect with people who eat the same and build true friendships. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So why? What was the main reason why you came to this lifestyle? Well, I went vegetarian like eight years ago for animal rights. And then after I learned more about the health issues and environmental issues, I went vegan and then raw vegan uh, just because it makes me feel good and I love yeah. food. Yeah. <laughs> and Carly, how about you? I don't know. I feel like I'm always in this competition with myself. Like, mm -hmm. how can I do better? <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is the best that I could find. And <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's delicious for one, mm -hmm. and you always feel good after. Mm -hmm. like, I just love it. It's awesome. How about you, Audrey? Well, I've been raw on and off for the past almost five years, and I started eating this way after my brother was eating raw, and I thought it was the weirdest thing ever. And he told me to read the book 801010, and I thought that is really strange how can anyone live off produce like it yeah. did not make any sense to me so I tried it I totally failed I was starving the entire time he said you're not eating enough you can't have one or two apples for breakfast or lunch you need to mm -hmm. eat a lot more so he wrote a big menu for me for a weekend he's like hey just try this and I was so surprised I couldn't even finish everything that was on that meal plan I was like that's it I'm just gonna do it and I just went raw overnight and it's been about five years and wow. I've had so many food sensitivities and allergies growing up and now I feel so much better. I have so much more energy. I don't feel sick after I eat and mm -hmm. it's just so easy to make. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. It's really super simple. Like, yeah. Just like, look at this, just carrots and zucchini. You eat as much as you want. Which is so, like the best, best freedom ever. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> totally. Sam, why don't you tell us about your juice? Okay, so this is beet, carrot, apple, and celery, and it's delicious. It's so good. <laughs> so good. It's so good. <laughs> like, this is my second glass. <laughs> yeah. So here we are about to eat. We've got lots of different zucchini pasta salads and carrot pasta salads going on here. And this is the dressing that I made. And it's just tomato, mango. This one has jalapeno. This one doesn't. Because Carly's afraid of heat, and <laughs> I don't blame her because it's a bad thing to get into. So we're going to chow down. What else do we want to uh, say? This zucchini pasta has a guacamole kind of dressing in it. Yeah, it's going to be good. And mm -hmm. this one is like a marinara sauce made with tomatoes and sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, yum. Basil and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And more juice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And no pizza. <laughs> no pizza. Didn't make it. We already ate the pizza. And we're having dessert. I made raw vegan hot chocolate. And you can see how I made it in a video back in the history I did with Tara from 40 Below Fruity. And Sam made these. They're apple bites with date and carrot jam inside. Check this out. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> there's nothing delicious on this lifestyle. There's nothing good. Oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Oh, 
so good. Carly, it's really good. <laughs> you should really have a fruit look because they're really awesome. Totally. You can meet people like Carly, <laughs> Sam Lamb, <laughs> Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> Being silly. The camera's shaking from my, <laughs> from my giggles. <laughs> I have caribou on my face. <laughs> 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 <laughs>